Global warming is melting glaciers at record levels and now a new study finds that a fast moving glacier is on the verge of breaking up and risking the rise of global sea levels even more. Researchers tracking the Pine Island Glacier in Western Antarctica say that it lost a fifth of its surface area between 2017 and 2020, according to a study by University of Washington and the British Antarctic Survey. The floating ice shelf on which the glacier sits, which acts like a cork in a bottle for the glacier, has retreated by 12 miles. Uh, contrary to everywhere else around Antarctica, there is, there is warm ocean water sitting next to the ice that melts the ice at its margin and it, it releases friction at the base of the ice and allows it to flow faster into the ocean. Um, so the paradigm that we were working on was that uh, if you've seen the ice shelf, which is the extension of the ice sheet as the ice goes afloat over the ocean, if you've seen it, you remove friction on the side of the ice shelf. Uh, and so uh, the ice shelf is, is buttressing the flow of ice from upstream, uh, much like the arches are buttressing uh, a cathedral for, from falling down. Researchers say that if the glacier continues to break up at the pace it is currently maintaining, it will contribute to about one and a half to two centimeters to global sea level rise. If this happens, scientists warn that the consequences will be felt globally. And the, the, the big question is, is the pace going to accelerate as it has been doing over the last uh, decades? or is it going to stay flat, or is it going to uh, su subside? Um, and so the fact that we are seeing uh, an acceleration and a new mechanism for acceleration is definitely not going in the, you know, in the right direction. So, you know, give you an idea, four centimeters to global sea level might, might not look like much, uh, but that, what that means is that, for example, uh, uh, flooding that would happen once every 10 years uh, would now happen you know, annually. 